Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. This week I needed to do some cool animation within a stack view. I needed to animate some effects going up, going down. This is all embedded in a scroll view. If you've ever wanted to play with animations in a stack view, come on in. I'm gonna show you three ways that we can animate within the stack view. One, we can play with visibility. Two, we can play with the alpha. And three, there's a really nice, cool staggering effect where we can stagger these animations together. So if you ever have to create something like this on a project, come on in and let's take a look at how we can do animation within the stack view. Okay, so what we have here is a plain old view controller with some labels embedded in a stack view. And all, all I'd like to do is when someone clicks that show more button, I'd like to animate in these five bottom labels. And when they tap it again, I'd like to animate them out. So as far as view controllers and outlets, I've just got outlets pointing to the labels that I'd like to animate in and out. And the rest of these are always going to appear on the screen. So when we run this, what we'll see with our very first basic animation is all I'm gonna do is show you how to basically animate these in doing a very simple animation by changing the visibility and a simple animation out when they tap it. You can see how these labels appear and disappear very slowly within a stack view. Okay, so how are we doing this? What's going on here is all we're doing is we're using a UI view property animator and just changing the visibility. We're setting up an animator, toggling the visibility from true to false for all the labels we wanna animate, and then simply starting the animation. So when they tap here, we're gonna change the visibility from hidden to true, and you can see they animate in. And when they animate out, they disappear. Very simple, probably the simplest thing you can do, I'm purposely slowing it down over two second duration so you can see what's going on here. It's not the greatest animation, but you can see what you get for free. The stack view just does this for us by tapping this button and using the UI property animator. That's visibility. Now, if you wanna spice things up, you can also work with something called the alpha or how dark or how bright those labels are gonna be when we animate them in. So this is gonna be very similar to visibility, but we're gonna do one thing a little bit different. One is when the animation starts, we're gonna set the alpha to all the labels to be dark. We're essentially gonna hide them by setting their alpha to be zero. Then we're gonna have the same animation, only here we're gonna animate their alphas back in by setting their alpha to one. If we run this animation now, what we'll see is a slightly different effect. One is we'll see those labels disappear, but slowly come in and out as they are coming in and out. So slightly different effect, but a little bit more nuanced, a little bit nicer because we're changing the alpha. Next, let's see what happens when we stagger the animations. Another way of animating within a stack view is to break up the animating of the visibility and the alpha into two different stages. In stage one, that first animation, we can still toggle the visibility of the elements within the stack view and make that one animation and give it its own duration. But what we can also do is after that animates the visibility in, we can add another animation to separately toggle the alpha or change it from a zero to one. This staggering effect is really nice and it can lead to some really nice compelling animations because it gives you a little bit more control over how things appear and disappear. So now when we click show, this one I'm purposely running faster, I've gone down to 0.4 and 0.2 seconds, but here you can see how it will basically animate everything out by hiding the alpha and bringing them in, but it's just a little bit of a nicer effect that you can play with and kind of see how these work. Let me just lengthen these a bit to four seconds and two seconds. This is just a nice little trick if you want to, um, whoops, if you want to slow down your animations and see what they look like, these have to be floats. 
Let's just run this again. And if we look at the animation now, we'll see it in a little bit more of a slower effect. Everything's hidden, the alpha is zero, but we're animating down, and then we animate that alpha in. Here we're just hiding it and collapsing it and bringing it down. So you can absolutely toggle with, with these durations, you can toggle the timing and the staggering of them, but this is just a nice little trick. You don't have to animate everything at once. You can do one animation first, another animation after that, and get a really nice looking effect for your animations. If you'd like to play with this for yourself, the source code and everything we've looked at here is on the Swift Arcade. Just click on Stack Views and you'll see a text version of everything we've talked about here. But basically that's it. Just three different ways you can animate elements within a stack view. It's not very hard, it gives some really nice effects. And this is something I had to use recently in our project was with a privacy statement, basically making some elements appear and disappear by just having a nice little show more button. All right, thanks for coming everyone. If you like this and you'd like to see more, do hit like, do hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. All right, take care, have a great weekend, bye-bye.